Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little problem solving video for you. As many of you know, the latter versions of uh, the Mac OS, I can't remember exactly which one did away with it. You can't just open a folder full of MIDI files and audition them because I guess the operating system doesn't have a MIDI engine in it anymore. I don't know why they did that. So there are these companies out there that are advertising these huge collections of MIDI files that you can buy. And I think that's great. And it's a great source of inspiration. And I already have some MIDI files, but trying to audition them to try to get a feel, get inspiration or to take a chord progression and kind of modify it and make it your own. I mean, those are all things you can do with MIDI files, but if it's a pain in the butt to audition them, then it just kind of goes by the wayside, which is what happened with me. But today I have a solution I found it's it only costs two bucks and you can buy it at the, uh, let's see, let's pull it up on the app store. It's called MIDI Player X. It's two bucks. It's for Mac OS 10.12 or later, which I believe is Sierra. If I'm not mistaken. And then this is what it looks like. Let me pull it up here. And what you do, and I've already got some, a folder of files dragged in there. What you do is I have a finder window open. You go to your MIDI files, and I have some here, and you just drag the file, the whole folder, into the player, like so. All right, and then whoever made this MIDI collection, it's Ad Brown, he uh, somehow got these meta information that this player reads, but it also shows the number of the file. So this has starting at number one, and it goes all the way down to 308. So what you do is you just start auditioning. And then what you can do here, you have controls. You can tempo up, tempo down, and you can go next file, previous file, command bracket. And so I'll just continue doing that. And you, and you can also, whoops, and if you click your uh, Logic home screen, everything goes away. So let's get this back here. Let me get my finder window back. Okay. So what you do is you put it on autoplay, like so, and you start auditioning MIDI files. As long as you have this one on top. You just bracket through them. Okay, so you like that one. So what you can do is you can go to 12 and just drag it in. So let's go back to 12 here. And you just drag it out of your finder, drag it into your project, and no tempo information. You just drag it in line here. And I have a pluck picked, because I had planned this video. So this, this pluck here is just kind of... So you end up playing it and you... Give it a listen. All right, so that I think I might want to transpose. So let's take it up. Okay, and if you don't like that one, you just delete it. And then you can go to your just pull everything back up here and start again. And then start going through them. So that one is number 18, and you just go down to 18, you drag that one in, so on and so forth, till you find the one you like. And then, of course, you can do the same thing with your synth. You just... And set it to a beat, and you're on your way, right? And 
And so once you get to that point, then you can go in here and slide things around and you'll start getting inspiration. You'll start hearing different melodies, ideas for melodies, and you just make it your own, do whatever you got to do. So now you have a way of auditioning MIDI files and hope that's a big help to you. And if you like this video, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified of the next one. And I thank you very much for watching. Music